We had to memorize before, lines. And then we had to do our job. Rap, and then Who cares? We did our job. We did our job. We memorized yeah, okay. the line. What brings you to Paso Robles? I'm going to that destination wedding. Please don't tell me it's Keith and Nance. So we're just the people you don't know where to stick? You might as well just stick us together. I don't want to be a person you don't know where to stick. So this is your fourth film together, third time playing love interest, and this friendship that you guys have is what, 25 plus no, years? No, it's over 30. Oh my god, I so much figured fun. it out. <laughs> you figured you did the math. <laughs> so tell me about shooting this one, because how did you guys get that fast talking quip down? Lots of work. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of energy in the script, and the, the characters have a lot of energy. It's my brother's wedding. I don't like my brother. I don't like my mother. They don't, <laughs> you don't really like, like me. <laughs> I don't really like. I I'm, don't... But I'm. But I'm. But I'm a good son. I'm a good. I'm here to do it because I have to do it. So I'm kind of at heart a good guy. I don't understand how even after Keith did what he did to you, you can possibly still be mooning over him. Because you're a monkey who doesn't understand the human condition. Having met you, I understand why it's a condition. You were a fiance to my brother, but then you yeah, you broke I think up. I have no reason. Then you to sued be. him. I got accidentally got an evite. You got a, yeah, you got invited. <laughs> like I and somehow. And we're thrown together, and being thrown together, we just are looking out at the world and then sharing ourselves with each other. Yeah. And then we're kind of you know. It's a meet cute, but a weird meet cute. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was that? What? You just took a step forward there. I didn't. Yeah, you did. You know you did. And what's funny is there's no way you can board first because the only way you could board first is if you have a special need. Do you have a special need? Yes. I need to be over there. Tell me about the rehearsal process. Well, to we get... didn't really have a tri like because I sort of saw this as a play in that sense, and and but we didn't get to have that thing you have in the theater where you have months and months of rehearsal. But but we did as much as we could. And I think there must have been an aspect of terror because there wasn't a lot of coverage, so it was like... I mean, it was bigger than it usually is in that sense, but it was still just doing our job, even though we yeah. woke up in the morning, went to bed at night, called each other all of the time, saying, every spare okay. moment, running lines, yeah. totally terrified, having fun. We have these wonderful characters that we get to play. I know, okay. So, so the, tell me about the texting back and forth. Were you trying to make sure that you were I, ahead on the learning? Like, I, I've got more No, it's like, I'm coming over right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh like, my gosh. Yeah. Thank God they put Then text, us. Winona, you want to go right? Yes! <laughs> Don't you believe there's someone for everyone? Close. I believe that there's nobody for anyone. Have you guys had any horror stories about weddings? Well, I mean, I had once had a wedding that I was went to with a friend of mine in France, and I yeah. couldn't find it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Driver, Tell me about this. This is pre-technology GPS stuff, so. Just got lost. Yeah, yeah no one okay. could find it. So, so that do? sucked. I went to their home, country home, and waited in the village for a long time. And you didn't even get to go to the after party. I didn't get to the after party or anything. I couldn't oh. find them. Like, no driver left. Like, no oh one could get me there. Oh that does actually That does suck. suck. Yeah, the sun oh, was no, coming Oh no, it's more up. like they should be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I, I would be like. <laughs> Where were what? You know, I'm not wearing anything under my pajamas. Why would you? They're so alluring. <gasps> what is that? I think it's a mountain lion. Could it be a jaguar? What difference does it make? A cougar, maybe? Oh, Jesus Christ. The two of you guys both have so many like iconic roles. What is your favorite of each other's? It's it's so hard. River's Edge scanner, darkly. Going back, Prince of Pennsylvania. You like that performance? I did. Um and then obviously, Bill and Ted, those, those movies were right, very deep movies oh, for me. One. I love, 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 love those movies. I love that Henry's. Henry's Crime. Crime. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, Matrix I too. And I know, like, probably everyone's in with that. Come on. Obviously, Private Idaho. Yes. I and mean, Private Idaho. Obviously, that one. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Keon? Um, yeah, it's almost like the different angles of Winona, you know, because the, there's such a fierce intelligence and humor and dryness and world weary. And then you also have the kind of um, energy or the lightness that you kind of go through and like in Beetlejuice where there's just kind of a whimsy to your performing. 
But then you also have that kind of contained thing that's in Dracula. You had that little Dracula Age of Innocence idea. <laughs> um, Mine for her is Heather's. It's my all-time favorite movie. Oh. And it just turned 30. I know, and I would love to sit and talk about that sequel and maybe the Bill and Ted sequel, but I only have one question left. So you have Stranger Things, you have John Wick 3 coming out, and you guys aren't going to tell me anything about it. But can you make up something for John Wick 3? And can you make up something for Stranger Things? And I'll just pretend that they're real spoilers. I bet even if we did that, we'd get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs>